Hello YouTube, this is the Stupendous Wave here with a video today. And this one we'll be talking about Mothra's origins. So Mothra is a really cool monster and I think that there's a lot of things that they can do with her origins. The fact that she's a deity, I'm going to say that they should not do that. That's way out of that's way out of the question. It's a more realistic universe that has been set up in this Godzilla 2014. So it should not be that she is a deity because that's just out at that's just way out there so what I think is that maybe she could be worshipped as a deity because we in if you watch my Rodan origin video I said that he has been hiding in a volcano and just kind of hibernating so I think that that's something that they could do with Mothra too but and have her be a little bit more active than Rodan or Godzilla would be because let's face it this world we have a gigantic world and there's no way that we could cover all of it so maybe Mothra just kind of finds her place and she kind of half hibernates half is like still conscious and she of course is awoken by Ghidorah's presence who would be awoken by Godzilla's presence because Godzilla was alerted by the Muto because that was a threat and Ghidorah could maybe sense his prey which would be Godzilla and go out there and Rodan and Mothra would be frightened by Ghidorah's appearance because they would also have been hunted by him so they all want to come together and to fight this big old threat that they have because when an animal of course is cornered and they feel as if they're cornered and they have no options that they're definitely going to fight and that's how I think that they're gonna do it so it's kinda of like dominoes like the Muto wakes up which makes Godzilla wake up which makes Ghidorah wake up which makes Rodan and Mothra wake up I just think that makes sense so as far as the hibernation goes and how we could fit in infant island I don't think that there will be small people little people like fairies the cosmos I, d I doubt they'll be the cosmos but I think that Mothra will ha have landed on a uh, island and maybe they can even call it infant island and have these little not these little people but these people who might be shorter than most like but they're not small they're just maybe the tallest person there would be like six feet tall and that would be considered really tall for them so around the five foot range and maybe that that's why they would call it infant island without going too far out of the realm of possibilities because of course around the world there are different people of different sizes so I would have Mothra land there maybe hundreds of years ago just kind of chilling around in that area half hibernating like I said half hibernating half being conscious but have her land there and have these people on infant island consider her their god without her actually being a god because of course they they would have witnessed this uh, did this amazing thing and I know I reference comic books a, a lot but kind of like a land like Wakanda in the comics a land where it's very it on the outside it looks very savage and just like they aren't very progressed in the technology ways but when you get on the inside and they actually take a look you find out that hey these guys are actually quite savvy and tech savvy and quite intelligent because being around a monster like Mothra for hundreds of years and worshiping it as its god as your god you're gonna learn quite a few things from it and that's how I think that they could integrate that part in and maybe have two twins kind of be the spokespeople for the island not really the leaders but the people that talk to per, perhaps Dr. Sarazawa and explain to him what is going on kind of a really good opportunity for exposition which has been really what the fairies have been the whole time in the Godzilla universe so I think that's how that would fit in and Mothra would wake up and want to fight against Ghidorah because of course she would feel threatened and I see Mothra as the least aggressive out of the bunch I see Ghidorah which is the least I mean the most aggressive then you have Godzilla and Rodan which are about on the same level and then you have Mothra which is the least aggressive animal because of course on our world again we have a bunch of alpha predators but some are just a whole lot less aggressive than others and I think that that would just be a great idea idea to take it and a great way that they could take this character 
So anyway, what do you guys think about it? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for Godzilla videos, and have a great day.